Here we have a waste digester that I made a couple of weeks ago. Uh, fairly basic in principle. Um, it's got a gas outlet valve there towards the top of the tank that goes to a bicycle tube at this stage. Just shows me where I'm generating pressure or negative pressure in the drum. I've got a outlet valve at the, near the base of the tank for the liquid fertilizer later on and an inlet which is just a 90ml stormwater pipe next down to 50ml just underneath the tank um, but that helps me get the, the uh, kitchen scraps into the drum it is a little bit small being only 90ml uh, at the top so devised a uh, just a basic funnel to help get it into the um, tank a bit easier pretty simple but does the job just make sure that the the scraps are diced fairly fine. I would like to pureate them, but I don't do that at this stage. I'm just dicing them to less than a centimetre cubed. Uh, make sure they go in well and hopefully come out the uh, fertiliser hole later well. So construction was pretty simple, didn't take that long. I uh, just got a basic 200 litre drum, uh, cut a circular hole in the top. Here you can see all the main components, all purchased from a local plumbing shop. Um, total cost about $100. Mounted the PVC parts through to the lid. Um, used plenty of silicon to make sure it was well sealed and airtight. Uh, silicon grade made sure it was full water immersion type, just for if it gets wet later on. Here I've got the lid just inverted. Um, showing the how long the stem is that will place inside the drum it goes to within about 10 centimeters uh, from the base of the drum here's just a close-up of the the two valves the liquid fertilizer valve the one on top is a inch and a quarter valve um, with a tank outlet stem that goes through the the base of the drum the gas valve is a half inch or 15 mil size once again just with a tank outlet type that goes through the uh, drum just drill uh, appropriate size holes through the drum um, the waste outlets about uh, six inches from the bottom or 150 mil and uh, the gas one is just fairly close up to the top as long as it wasn't uh, getting in the way of the lid um, just use plenty of silicon uh, around uh, sealing it once again just so to prevent any leaks here's me being a bit ambitious but I've got a, uh, a tractor tube there to hopefully harness all the methane that comes off it once it starts producing um, it's been going filling up for about two weeks and it's just started to produce a small amount of gas enough to fill the uh, the bicycle tire that we saw earlier so I'm um, hoping in about another couple of weeks time got plenty of activity and a bit of warmth in the in the digester and I can uh, start producing decent amounts but I'll uh, keep you updated